Seems like I've made an error in judgment. Um, as you probably guessed, you see the RV on a wrecker. Transmission I had totally rebuilt front to back, all brand new parts. Two weeks turned into four months. Painstakingly removed, installed myself on the ground in the driveway. Turbo 400. Drove it around a little bit. Didn't put a lot of miles on it. Got on the old interstate. Headed down to a yearly camping trip. Looking to uh, just have some good old fun. And 100 miles into it, third gear, gone. Another 100, about 140 miles. second gear trying to make it second gear starts slipping tranny's smoking fluids burnt black first gear pulled in the campground ruined the whole time you know, got to figure out how to get this thing home. 221 miles away from home, something like that. Three and a half hours anyway. It's an expensive tow. A lot of people said price of the tow you gotta question the value of the camper but to me to us it's got a lot of value didn't want to have to give it up called 25 towing companies finally found someone that would tow it a medium duty 550 wrecker Ford Brand new. Nobody wanted me to ride in the truck. I'm scared of the COVID. <clears throat> Finally. guy was waxing his truck he said I'll do it a lot of cash told the guy that rebuilt it you know there's no use in getting all crazy going after somebody getting all mad after all it was my decision I picked who I wanted to rebuild it I paid for it and that's what I got I said you know I just wanted you to know being you know this is something you do for a living that, that transmission only lasted a hundred miles you know said I'm stuck long way from home I got a response two words wow and shit of course hours later I got a response said I'm gonna have to try to find you a transmission
not not really uh, holding my breath too much on that. But there you go. Another life lesson. Tried to you know look around the area. Every area's got that you know that one guy. Usually an old timer. He's the one. He's the one to rebuild your transmission. Thought I found it. But. Very upsetting. Season's over. No reverse. Transmission is making awful noises. Sounds like a jet plane taking off when you start it. But it still goes forward. It's full of mud. Obviously something went wrong in there. So what to do next? Probably wrap it up for the season. We're getting to uh, almost October. Could have been a couple more camping trips scheduled, but not going to be able to uh, get another one. I don't think I even want this one back in there kind of just soured at this point I wouldn't even want to have it rebuilt again just be thinking about it all the time maybe just save up buy a brand new one the warranty RV's only got 80,000 miles on it Well, figured I'd share that with you. Sometimes you make an error in judgment, and this is what happens. I know one thing's for sure. Somebody is going to see me on the streets.